Hey everybody, Doug from Trigger King here again, uh, shooting a couple couple tech videos here for you guys. Um, today we are going to talk about tires and the different tires that we use. I know we get a bunch of questions about them and there's actually a lot on the market now. So we'll just do a quick hit uh, through pretty much all the main tires that you can get right now. These are stock clod tires right here. These are the OG monster truck tires. They, they replicate the old school Goodyear's. Um, these do not come with foams and they're the old Tamiya compound. Um, they're fairly hard, as you can see here, with no foam. You can get foams to put them in there. Uh, a lot of guys run them without. Um, not much to say, these things have been on the market forever. Um, with all the race tires though now, um, we run on pavement. These are actually okay on pavement because they are harder and you can get a decent amount of grip. Um, but guys go to the other tires for the most part. So that's the stock ones. What we've got here, these are new. Uh, these are the J Concepts Firestorms. And as you can see behind me here, uh, these tires, they replicate uh, the fire, you know, the old Firestone tires. Um, these are newer Firestone tires uh, for the Bigfoot Monster Trucks. But you can see though, it's the same style. So these tires are legal for, legal for retro racing. And um, they come in two compounds, gold or blue. The gold is a little bit harder. The blue compound is the softer one. Um, this truck right now is running golds. Uh, this is my truck, Honey Bee. I like the golds because they don't grip as hard as the blues and the sidewall is a little bit stiffer. Um, on these old school trucks, I, I don't care for the sidewall roll. And these, this thing has four wheel steer, so it doesn't uh, require as much grip in the turning because all four are gonna turn. So these things are awesome for retro racing. Um, basically, they, they've got the really nice J Concepts foams in them, uh, foams in them so you know, it's basically on a truck that doesn't have much suspension, that foam really helps dampen the blow when you don't have much. So these are becoming pretty much the norm in our retro class. They also look really good. They're technically a little bit more of a race tire um, because they, they're not a full lug Firestone. They kind of replicate a shaved look, but they're close enough so we allow them. Um, they actually, you can see here compared to the stock clod, they're taller. They're a little bit taller and thinner. Um, these sort of look like more of a 73 inch look versus the 66 of the, the stock clot here. So that's these tires here. Let's go on to the next set. These are actually um, Kyosho USA 1 tires. They're getting harder to get. And to talk about them, um, bring in Josh Rhodes here if you come in. This is his truck. I don't know as much about these tires because I've never run them. So I figure Josh can uh, talk about it. Well, Kyosho USA 1s, they had two compounds when it first came out. I believe the Nitro trucks had a harder compound and these are the softer compound that were on the electric trucks. They got foam in them and they actually glue right onto a stock clod rim. They have more of an aggressive straight cut on them versus what the stock clod tires were. So they actually hooked up, hooked up just a little bit better and for years and years guys in like the NRC TPA club and stuff would cut these kind of like you see what the, uh, the rumbles are on another truck. We'll show you here in a little bit. These are, uh, they're taller right? They're, yeah, they're slightly taller, taller, slightly wider. These, I know, before the Firestorms, this was like the 73 inch yeah. tire. That, these were like your Firestone, yeah, which yeah. is why they're on this truck. Yeah. I need to upgrade, but I kind of <laughs> like these tires. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> All right, well, thanks. Hey, no problem. All right, we'll see what's next here. Now, what we've got here, um, we're into the race trucks now. These two tires, uh, these two trucks here, are running different kinds of tires. Um, this right here, this is uh, Bob's Havoc truck, his Chaos RC uh, chassis truck. And um, he's running RC four-wheel drive rumbles. These rumbles are, they replicate um, a uh, race cut on a tire and um, it like mimics the, the hand cutting uh, of a tire. So they're pretty aggressive. Um, for the longest time, these are pretty much the only race tire that we had available to us, uh, at least until these came out, which are uh, these pro lines next to me. But um, a lot of guys still really like these, um, the, the rumbles. And uh, I'm one of them too. I prefer mine cut. But I know Bob, he likes his with the the, uh, the non-cut cleat. You can see it's a, they got a pretty sharp edge on them. Um, it's a straight off like that, so tons of forward bite on them. Um, they're a nice tire. They come with a foam. It's not necessarily a racing foam, but it's still pretty nice. Um, he's had a lot. Bob's had a lot of success with them. I know uh, a few guys here have had a lot of success with them. And again, this is pretty much what you had to run until the uh, the newer breed race tires come out but it's they still hold their own and they're still really nice so uh, what we've got here now 
These are the Proline Destroyers. And when these came out, I don't know, about two years ago, um, they pretty much took the RC monster truck world by storm because this was the first real race bread tire. Uh, these things, they mimic the BKT tires that you'll see on the Monster Jam circuit that pretty much all the trucks have to run. And while uh, a lot of these, some of the other race tires mimic the hand cut uh, look, these are actually like a full cut BKT or at least they're uh, they mimic that. They have a nice rolled edge on them. Uh, it's, a, it's a really smooth edge. They're very consistent tires. Um, they're pretty wide too, so they have a wide footprint. The tread on them is flat. So unlike a tire like this where you get a sharp edge and it wants to roll back on it, um, the bite here is a little more consistent. When I've run these before, I felt that they're a lot of a, they're, they're a smoother tire, I guess. Um, they are shorter though, and I know that that's one thing some guys don't care for them. They're a shorter tire. Um, that's kind of a cosmetic thing though, um, but they are really nice. These come in Pro Lines Race Compound um, with really nice foams in them. So, um, yeah, and they're still popular. Uh, they came out two years ago, like I said, but a lot of guys, they're, they're still running the Destroyer. Uh, this is our last tire we're going to talk about today. These are uh, the J Concepts Renegades. These in our club are pretty much the king daddy. Pretty much everyone's running these now. Um, again, it's a preference thing though. We still have, we, we have trucks with all different ones, you know, that, that run well. Uh, but these are the most popular now. So these, the, the, the Renegades, they come in two compounds. They come in the gold and the blue, which the blue is a super soft and the gold is the uh, medium soft, I guess, if you will. It's a little bit harder. Um, this truck here, Kodiak, I'm pretty sure these are golds on it, they feel like. Um, but this tire mimics the Goodyear tire, uh, the cut Goodyear tire that was popular really throughout uh, race monster truck history. That's pretty much the Goodyear for the most part um, outside of uh, when Bigfoot, you know, Bigfoot's been running Firestone since 1992, but a lot of the other trucks are running Goodyear. So um, these mimic the hand cut, you know, look like the Rumble tire. But the big difference on these, um, the, the cut on them is a little bit, uh, it's a different angle. Um, it, I think it grips a little bit better, uh, but the side is actually rolled, which is really nice. And I think this makes a huge deal when you're cornering because you get a lot less wheel hop and you don't need to trim the sides. And um, I know for me, my preference, I like the rolled, the rolled edges. Um, these are just really, really nice tires. Um, it's hard to find somebody who's got something negative to say about them. Um, they do have a lot of grip though, so if you're running on any kind of a, a semi-grippy surface, you're going to want the golds, I think, because the blues uh, just have an insane amount of grip. I mean, that's the big thing with all these tires with compounds when you're talking about it. These aren't like little off-road cars or buggies to where you've got the, you know, the tires with a small footprint. You've got, you know, these are by nature, just have a huge uh, tread pattern on them or contact patch. So. The soft tires are going to feel like super soft tires, and the harder tires are still going to feel, you know, fairly grippy. So um, that's about does it. That's all the tires uh, that we've got here. Again, I don't want to say one is right or wrong because we have guys with every single one of these tires that that has won races or that you know does win races. So, like the big uh, big trucks, it's really a thing of preference. These tires all have different grip characteristics and handling characteristics. If you get used to one it makes it tough to switch to another. So if you can, I'd, I'd suggest experimenting. Um, luckily now with J Concepts and Proline, you know, doing their thing with uh, tribute wheels and um, the brawler wheels respectively, um, those are really nice offset race wheels. So you can experiment and you don't have to worry about, you know, gumming up some custom set of wheels you have or with some custom adapters. So I'd experiment and uh, see what you like. Thanks.